Morning. Where's Declan? With Megan, probably. Seeing as he needs her so badly. Very good, by the way, setting me up like that. Didn't think you had it in you. Better luck next time. Touch me again, and you'll be sorry. No matter what Declan thinks. Is everything all right? No. It's a long way from all right. I was just eating my breakfast. He'll stay out of your way. I'll leave you to it. I can't believe you've put me in this position. I missed you last night. Yeah? Well, the guest room suited me fine. Katie. I'm not interested. What am I supposed to do with that? You made your choice. The other's coming in. Cat got your tongue? I've been thinking about you and me. And I think maybe we should... Way up. Wish you'd move half as fast at work as you do when Andy calls a break. Hey. Must be the smell. Tuck in. Cheers. So, go on. Victoria, take you back then. Yep. Yeah, well, just don't mess her about again, OK? I won't. I like it and I'm going to do right by her. So don't worry. Right then. Who's going to auction? Well, it's Alex's turn. It's everything we need. Mm -hmm. You can go if you want. Don't mind. What are you on about? You normally moan because you never get to go. Fine. We'll go. You can sort the order out. Oh, Moira, there's a cow in the top field that doesn't look too well, so I'm going to get checked out. All right, OK, thanks. All right. See you in a bit. Bye. OK, yeah. Hey, come on. Shift it. Should I have a look through this? Why? Give you some ideas for the big day. Ta. Can't really see myself in something like that. You'd definitely be the centre of attention. Mm, yeah, and pay through the nose for it, too. Oh, promise to see the kids before they go to school. Oh, right. Well, do you want me to tag along, get to know them a bit better? Uh, another time. I'm late as it is. Oh. <laughs> Thought you'd forgotten. Won't survive the day. What can I do? Get a sick bag. <laughs> see you later. Yep, I'll be here on my own, living on my own. Okay, see you at work. Take your time. Perks carry management's baby. Are you just gonna let that pass? Am I living on my own, comment? I'm in a rush. You're in a rush to do everything but move in here properly. What's the problem? The place need. Right, you know what I'm like. I just need to roll up my sleeves, and give it once over. Oh, so it's not clean enough for you? It's fine. Well, it's not fine enough, obviously. OK, I'll give it a going over tonight. You're eight months pregnant. I'm not having you scrubbing out cupboards. Who said anything about scrubbing out cupboards, Nikhil? Jen, you know me. I need the place deep cleaned. So, as soon as I get the chance, look, I've really got to go. Can we get someone in? Pay for it. Get it how you like it. But, Ask but, Rachel. She does a really good job at Holgate. Unless you're looking for an excuse not to move in. She's always missing things. So you're gonna give her instructions? This could take a while, so you call Jay, let him know I'll be in as soon as I can. Kate is not a happy bunny. Why were you even in the same room as her? I was eating my breakfast and she came in. What am I supposed to do? Leave. And if she comes in the pub, you leave there too. That's how it's gonna be from now on. That's what I did. Mostly. I don't want to see you smile or look like you think we've won something. But we have. A small battle. It's far from over. We're here because Declan needs me. It won't last forever. So let's enjoy ourselves while we can. Will you grow up? You've created this mess. I can't believe you thought that she was even interested in you. You should have known it was a trap. It wasn't how it looked on the security camera. How it looked was pretty bad. I know Declan and you've pushed all of his buttons and the fact he can't get rid of us makes it worse. We're on borrowed time. And what I want you to do is apologise properly. That means admitting I was wrong. I know she set you up. And in time, so will he. But for now, you're just going to have to say sorry and keep a low profile. They gone? Yep. So, you have got me on my own, then. 
that is what you wanted, isn't it? Yeah. I've been meaning to tell you. What? How gorgeous I am? <laughs> How much fun we've been having? Yeah, you are. We are. Oh, but I've been thinking. Mm-hmm. That maybe we should... Look, stop. You want me to stop? Yeah. No. Oh, don't. How am I supposed to make it up to you when you won't answer the phone? When you do speak to her, you might want to take it down a notch. What do you want? A quiet word. Can we go and swear a bit more private? No. Say it and go. I want to say I'm sorry. Honestly, I am. You took a chance on me and I let you down. Never meant to cause you any friction between you and Katie. You couldn't do anything to me and Katie. We're fine. OK. Well, again, I'm sorry. <laughs> wow. Talk about detail. Yep, that's Nikhil. Look, just tell Rachel I'll protect her from him. <laughs> oh, she'll be coming by later. I'll ask her to let you know. Do you reckon she'll say yes? Well, normally she'd jump at it, but, oh, the baby's father is coming good, oh, so... Oh, how? I'll let her know you need help. Well, at least one of you does. Serious yeah. help. I keep telling Robbie it'll be all right, but Katie's had it in for us both since he moved in. Are you going to be one of Chaz's bridesmaids? What? In this joke wedding of hers. You're not even listening to me. They've only just got engaged. I don't think they've even discussed it yet. You do think it's a joke, though, don't you? What's it got to do with you, Carl? What has it got to do with you? My life's in a mess at the moment. The least you could do is listen. <sighs> I'm sure it'll all blow over. Oh, and that's it. That's what you've got to offer. A cliché. Where are you going? Thanks for the chat. You've been a real friend. So just tell Debbie I'll get Sarah from school, cos I've got a few hours off this afternoon. Oh, she'd appreciate that. Even driving's getting to be a pain, you know, the size of her getting stuck behind the wheel. <laughs> I hated that part, being the size of a house and just waiting. Oh, it's better than what comes next. Imagine, right, being kicked in the ghoulies over and over. Think on that. I'd rather not, thank you. Oh, Chad's been looking at this. Getting a few ideas, yeah? Oh, I like that one. Hey, babe, what do you think? Yeah, pretty nice. Pretty nice? Oh, don't you think she'd look gorgeous in that? Yeah, of course. We're on a budget, so... Anyway, we haven't even set a date yet. We've got loads of time. OK, is she having second thoughts? I don't think so. Why? Well, come on, I'm not being funny, but her and Dan, they're not exactly a natural fit, are they? Oh, come on. Debs hasn't held back with me, so you two must have been talking. Well, he's not her usual type, is he? He's besotted with her, I know that much. Well, that's lovely. And she really deserves it, but come on. she will have to marry the guy, does she? So you don't want to do this anymore? What? Huh? You're not exactly hard to read, Alex. But don't stress. We had fun. It's just all the lying. Hate going behind Adam's back. I know. So I'm being dumped. I'm sorry to drag you away from the auction. That's OK. I'm sure Adam can cope on his own. You know, she doesn't pick up by the end of the week. We might have to think about having her destroyed. Well, I hope not. Can't afford to keep showing out on them like this. I'm sorry to, uh swear that you're not going to New Zealand now. Yeah, well, Marlon ruined any chance of that, didn't he? Must be good. Here we are. I sometimes think what it would have been like if me and Alicia would have gone to Spain like we planned. In the sun. Siestas and all that. No, you need to be near Sarah. I think you did the right thing. But there'll be other chances. Yeah. For you too, hopefully. I'll get Mara to do your check. Just borrow your pen. It's been nice, though. 
Yeah, it has. What the...? You have got to be kidding me. It's not what you think. Uh, let's try. Right, you, outside now. <laughs> 